Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step on how to take it apart and apply the new thermal paste. The computer here, Acer all-in-one, that the fan always go on a high speed, uh, meaning that it might be a temperature reason. It gets too hot and the fan kicks in and try to run at a very high speed and it kind of quite annoying. Every time when you do something, you can hear that the fan is running in the background with this loud noise. So I'll be trying to fix the problem and hope, hopefully by applying a new thermal paste, that way it would conduct the heat better and let the fan do its work by exhausting the hot air away from the computer so that it doesn't go on this high speed sound. All right, so let me go ahead and turn it around and show you the uh, uh, the back of the computer here. Now the first thing I like to do is to remove the Wi-Fi USB receiver. So this is the wireless keyboard uh, for mouse and keyboard. So just remove that. Now the it's very straightforward to remove this Asus um, all-in-one. You just have to remove the back cover here. I'll be using a metal prying tool. What you want to do is just walk your way around the corner. Right, once you have the back cover removed, the next step is to remove the back plate here. I noticed there are some missing screws, so there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in total that you need to remove for this back cover. But before you can do that, let's go ahead and remove the four screws. These four screws are holding onto the stand. So this is standing up the computer. Let's go ahead and remove that first. So once you remove that stand, and now we can go ahead and remove the uh, back plate. So I noticed there are some missing screws on the back plate, uh, but for your case, you might want, you might able to see a lot more screws though so there will be one two three four five six seven i believe there's like right about seven screws that you need to remove and once you remove that you can just lift the uh the back cover straight up probably more than that maybe eight screws in total all right so once you have all the screws removed you can just lift the uh, back cover here straight up this is the copper heat sink where it conducts the heat where the fan would exhaust out on the well depending on look at it so on the left side of the screen 
But what I'm trying to do now is to apply new thermal paste on the CPU. Hopefully that way it would cool down the uh, the processor. Let's see. Okay, so this is your heat sink. There's a thermal pad. What I'll do is I'll be using the alcohol wipes. And just give it a good wipes here. Wipe it clean. All right, now you have cleaned off the CPU as well. If you want to take this opportunity to add more RAM, you can do that. And this runs on the DDR4 RAM. So if you take a look here, it says uh, PC4. PC4 stands for DDR4, and this runs on an eight gigabytes RAM. All right, so the next step I like to do now is to go ahead and apply the thermal paste. Just a tiny little bit that is good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one back on. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the rest of our screws. So just go ahead and tighten up the screw here. And then there's one last screw on the side. Let's go ahead and put that thing in as well. All right, that's pretty much it. We just apply a new thermal paste on the CPU here. We can go ahead and put the uh, back cover bracket back on. Just kind of slide it back in here. Okay, make sure you put all the screws back back on to cover up the back plate here. And then we're gonna put the uh, the stand back on together. So if you notice that the screws are not the same, this little long long longer screw goes to the bottom, and then the shorter one goes to the top. So there are two long ones and two short ones on the top.
tighten up the screws and last but not least we just got to install the back power back onto the computer by simply just pressing it down so those are the clip on back cover here so it's pretty easy to remove and pretty easy to push it back in to reinstall them back together and that's pretty much it and do not forget your usb wi-fi receiver for the wireless mouse and keyboard and now we're gonna have a, a better computer with the, uh, a new thermal paste install so i hope you like the video if you learned something on the video please give me a like and a thumbs up uh thanks for watching until next time bye now